If you're an author who posts blogs regularly, then this video is for you. Today, I'm going to showcase how to add a search bar, a tag, and also a category filter to the top of your blog page. All right, let's jump right into it. So we have a Squarespace blog page here. Um, we've selected the side-by-side -side blog layout. The cool thing about Squarespace 7.1 is that you can add a section to make the blog page a little bit more dynamic. Historically, you're pretty limited with what you can add to a blog page on Squarespace. Essentially, the editor is still the version 7.0, but with this add section um, capability, you can actually add a bit more um, engagement to the page. So you can think of adding a section as a banner area, a headline, uh, and in this case, we're going to add a search tag and category filter. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. All right. So the first thing we're going to do here is figure out exactly what we want to add. Um, if you want to add a little more flair, you can select any of these intro uh, pre-made sections. I am not going to. I'm going to showcase a pretty rudimentary version of adding just the name of your blog and a search filter. So I'm going to actually select a save, oops, not a save section, a blank section. And let's go ahead and change the colors so it matches the rest of the page. Okay, so now you see we've added a section directly ab above the blog post area. So what we can do now is click add block. And I'm just going to add a title. Okay, so we've added our title, set it as heading one so that search can find it. And cool. So as you can see, now we have a section. If you want to add a divider, we can go ahead and add the divider, set it as flat and then perhaps set the thickness of the divider to match the thickness here of this border under our header. Okay, let's see how that looks. Perfect. Okay, so we've added a section, a blank section above our blog page, our main blog page. And we've added a section divider. So that section divider matches our border for our header. The next thing we're gonna do is add a search feature. So click add block in the search bar, type search. Okay. And we've got the search bar now. Beautiful. The search bar, if we click into edit mode, we want to set the search bar to search only a specific page, in this case, our blog page. So when we select that filter, we can select our blog. And now when people type in search terms, search queries, it is only going to pull up keywords and data related to the blog page. Um, so why is this important? I would say as an author who or a writer who is regularly posting blogs, it's imperative to have some way for your audience to be able to search and filter different content. Um, for this particular blog page, this author has around 14 posts. So I think it's a perfect time to add a search tag and category filter area um, so that the users just have a little more ability to really hone in on what they want to read. Okay, so we've added the search bar. Let's just resize that really quick. Now let's go ahead and add an archive block. And the archive block allows the site visitor to pull up, um, whoops, it kind of, as it comes out of the gate, um, it, it comes pre-made with some, some demo content, which is what you're seeing here. But this archive block allows the site visitor to choose either a tag or a category from your blog content. So if we click into edit, Again, just like the search feature, 
Um, the archive block, we're going to want to add and select a specific page, which is our blog. And immediately you can see that the archive block is pulling up all of the uh, different posts within that blog page. But we're going to take this a step further and in the display tab of the archive block, under the layout section, we're going to choose drop down. And the drop down title, we're going to change from archive to tag. And this is just notifying our visitors that they can click the drop down, select a tag, and be taken to a blog post that's related to those tags. We want to group that tag by tag. Category selected as tag under group by. And we want to sort by name. Awesome. So now when we click save and we click exit into our site visitor view, search, what comes up? Very cool. You can see when I typed in dam, the dam came up. Let's go back to our test page here. Okay. And under tag, when we click the drop down, since we've added several tags to each individual blog post, there's a lot of information that the customer now has access to. So if your reader is interested in only articles and blog posts about Bonneville Dam, since this particular author is an, author is an environmental journalist, then you could just select the Bonneville Dam, so on and so forth, and they've got access to a ton of, ton of different uh, search functionality. Okay, so the final step is to copy this tag, this archive block, and to duplicate a block, we hover over it, click on it, and click these little two squares, which is the duplicate button. Awesome, so now we have a duplicate of that, and we're just gonna tighten this up so that um, the display and the format is consistent. Got that centered. Okay, so as you can see, We've got a search bar, we've got a tag filter bar, and now we're gonna just change this instead of tag, we're gonna make it a category filter. So click into edit, same process, select your content. The blog by default is selected since I duplicated this block, which is a great feature across uh, the Squarespace platform. You can duplicate any block. Um, it makes designing your website super quick and super fast and easy. Um, and it also allows you to uh, capture the format, look, and feel of any individual block so that you don't have to go into the settings and waste a bunch of unnecessary time updating those individually. Okay, so back to the archive block. We're on the archive block. We've uh, duplicated our tag filter, and now we are going to select this as our category filter. So under display tab, click display, and click the layout, and we've already got drop down selected. And now we are going to add categories. This is another cool feature. If you grab uh, the configuration for any given block, you can move it around. Um, and this is handy if you're designing a page and it's covering over the block or the area that you want to see uh, live updates for as you're designing it. So again, just kind of drag that around the page. Cool, so we have our archive block that we've titled categories and we've selected drop down as the layout. Now under the group by, instead of tag, we're gonna select category and we are all set. Thank you guys so much. Uh, again, this is a, a good way for authors, for writers, for bloggers to add a quick section above their blog page. Um, you can add banner images if you want. You can add media. Um, in this case, we added a nice, big, bold headline telling all the readers what the page is. Then we've added a search function, a tag filter, and a category filter.
So uh, keep on reading and writing and using Squarespace to run your blog. If you guys have any questions about running an author website, um, if you're a writer or a blogger, I would love to connect. My name is Travis. I own and operate Coyote Moon, which is a Squarespace web design studio based in Oregon. My website is coyotemooncreative.com. And thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, click like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much, guys.